Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're going to be going over the fourth shipment that came in of the Titanic. I'm sorry it's so late for me doing this review. I've came down with a cold. I'm a little under the weather. I got bad allergies, and they're acting up really bad right now. It's that time of the season. But uh, first, before we do that, one thing you really have to think about if you were going to build this model how to store it so i have mine in this big old christmas container let me just get the parts out of here there's my officer's quarters and then in here is the main titanic itself But you really have to think about how you're going to store this thing if you build it. Because it's starting to get big. So let me just sit you here while I get this thing set up. Let me just step this side. Okay, and then over here in this box right here, move this stuff to the side. This is one of the boxes that it came shipped in, is where I have the rest of the parts. So you really have to think about how you're going to start storing this thing. Because I'm having trouble figuring out how I'm starting to store it as I'm building it. I'm trying to keep the gnats off of it and the dust away from it. Like I said, we won't receive the case until close to the end of the build. Which is about another, probably year and a half away. Two years. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's go over everything that we did in this build. Starting with the first thing. Okay, the first thing is we have to talk about the lifeboat. We got to talk about the lifeboats situation. And I'm not talking about where they don't have their uh, covers over the lifeboats. Nothing like that. I'm talking about where we'll be short some lifeboats on this build. Like I said, I never did install mine. I have mine right here. Because I have plans for these. But I kept them here in the bag. And what I mean by um, short lifeboats, I will show you. In the model that we are building, you can see right here, this is all the lifeboats we are going to get. The back four, the front four, and the two near the funnel. Now let me just hold this this way. On this, you are missing a lifeboat that has to go on the outside right here. And on the outside on the other side. Now I will show you what I'm talking about. So let me tilt you back up here. Let me close this box real right fast. Get that out of the way. So you can see my computer. Right here you can see on this uh, picture. There's a boat hanging off the side of the deck right there. That's one. And right here, you can see right here, you don't only have one boat here, but you have two boats. And this one is uncovered, which is the plan that I have for these that they gave us without the tarps. I'm going to use them for going off the side of the ship, but that leaves me in a predicament if I do that, because then I won't have the boats that go near the funnels. So... They forgot two boats that are supposed to be on the ship. You can see you have a boat there. And then if you look over here where my mouse is, you have another boat hanging off the side over here. So you can see you got a boat there and a boat there. And you also have a boat there. These are the ones near the funnels. So you can see we're going to be short some boats on our models. 
And then when I go to this picture right here that has the front of it, you can see the two boats hanging off the side. Right there. And then we go over here. Right there. So that's the first thing that we uh, are talking about is the uh, missing two lifeboats. Because even when you look at the picture on the advertisement book, those extra boats are not hanging off the ship. So they forgot two lifeboats. I'm hoping Hatcher acknowledges that. And they do eventually send us the two missing boats, but I don't know. We can only hope. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to the build and see what we did here. It's the first thing that we did on our big kill section. Big old kill section and hole. We added this big old kill piece in shipment four. We put these screws in right here. And then it got a little bit hard and tedious on us when we did that. Let me just get that little device out and show you. Because when we did that, like I said, these little containers are good for keeping things. You can see here I got all extra screws in here that I kept. There's my screwdriver that they provided us with. And there is the Allen key. Things got a little tedious with this because we had to start using the little Allen wrench to put in the bolts in the hole. So, that's where we started with the Allen key and these little things, <laughs> which is pretty tedious, but it had to be done. And then after that, let's see here, yeah, Allen bolts. And then another thing that I also did on mine, I painted the inside of my hole orange right there at the top and the reason for that is uh right here on this picture that i'm going by if you look at this picture on the tv you can see it's painted orange inside there you can see the other side about there where it's painted orange so i did that so that's one thing that we did and then when we go to uh issue 16 Which brought in the officer's quarters. Which is right here. Well, no, this is the dome skylight. Never mind, my bad. Let me get that, the dome skylight. We got a hold of our dome skylight. We had to put down the piece of wood. We did that. I did my modifications with adding the little metal plates below the vents like I always do. They told us not to glue the uh, dome so mine's just attached down with masking tape Tamiya masking tape <sighs> so that was the first step in adding some vents and then that was the end of 16 was just putting the deck down adding the vents and that was it until we got to a later stage and then once we got to issue 17 we started the work on our second funnel, which was putting in, let me get that, which was basically putting in the, um, the water filter, the spring. It only had us to build half the funnel at first, so we basically uh, put in the water filter and the spring, which is inside the funnel. And then we attached the little annoying screws, miniature screws, and the funnel cover. We did that. The ladders didn't come in until a later date. But when we got to issue 18, we basically did some more work on the, uh, the dome skylight area, which was basically adding... The skylight and the dome area onto the ship. We did that. 
And also in, um, what was this one, 7, 18? Hang on a minute here, I'm losing my place. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let me see here, make sure I didn't skip one. Yeah, 18. In issue 18, we also added the top black hole piece. Which had to deal with more of them annoying screws to get in with the Allen key. Now, when it comes to the Allen key, those things are not easy. But we did that. And then that ended off issue 18. When we got to issue 19, we did a lot of work. So, in issue 19... We started putting the second smoke generator into the funnel. We put the tank in, the, the stay collar, the top of the funnel. We did all of that. We started adding the detail pipes to the funnel. We started adding the piping to both funnels. We uh, added the ladders. The, the ladders and the steam whistles to both funnels. And then another thing that it uh, told you to do... I left one off because there was no way in heck I was going to leave it on here until this funnel's going on to the deck. But there's a little water pipe that it tells you to put here. I left mine off. I did not put it on because it runs risk of getting it broke off before that funnel gets on. But I'll show you what I mean. Right here, this little water pipe. I left that off. But when it came to the officer's quarters, I put it on. But I waited until it told me to attach the funnel before I stuck them on. But there's those little annoying water pipes. And there's the first funnel with the details. So we did that. So yeah, that's the stages that you would get there. And 20, which was their last book... We did a lot of detail in 20. A lot of detail. So, in issue 20, we started working with the vents right here. These. We started working with these. We started putting the metal grills in to the vents. We didn't do this one yet because it didn't say nothing about this one. But we did that vent right there. And then we did these two vents right there. And then that one right there. That was the first thing it told us to do. After that, we did our first LEDs, which was putting this circuit board into here, which that was a challenge and a half. That circuit board like to never got in there. But I got it in there and it works. The lights work. And then after that, which was another vent that we did, then showed that. After that, we did the skylights, which the skylights came in white. I painted mine brown because they were brown on the uh, Titanic. Now I'll pull up that picture right fast and show you that since I got it right here. Okay. There's one. You can see right there, there's one skylight behind it, and it's brown. So, we painted the skylights brown. We attached the skylight covers. We did that. We put some more air vents onto the decking. We put this little piece of wood onto the decking. We added it. We added this little, tiny, annoying antenna. We added that little antenna right there. You can see to my finger how tiny that antenna is. Almost uh, worse than this little air intake. But we added that. We added this little air vent pipe thing that goes across. I'm not sure what this thing is called. Uh, let me look here and see what it's called. Ventilation duct. It's called a ventilation duct. 
So this thing is a ventilation duct, is what they're calling it. And then after we did that, it told us to remove the first funnel's um, tank from the first funnel. So we did that, and we put an elastic band on the wire because it told us to do that. And then it, it didn't tell us to put this back in. We left this out of the funnel for now. After that, the next thing that we did was we had to feed this very long wire through the officer's quarters deck. And you can see it comes out all the way down here. It is a very long wire. And it goes all the way down there. And then once you feed that down there, then you attach the funnel. This is when I went ahead and I applied these pipes. When it was telling me this stage, I applied the pipes. And I slowly fed the funnel around the pipes. You really got to watch out for that because if you accidentally bump them pipes... And you don't see it, you will break these pipes in a heartbeat. I mean, these pipes, they are extremely fragile, you can see there. But yeah, these are some extreme fragile pipes. To put them into the uh, the deck, I used um, my really fine precision tweezers. I got this off of uh, Amazon. It's a tweezer set. I would highly recommend getting some. But I use these really fine needle precision tweezers. Hang on, man, here. I'll try to get it zoomed in for you. Well, let me set the ship down. Uh, come on. It's going to be kind of hard for me to get it. Because they're needles. Come on. There we go. You see them? Needle precision tweezers. I use those... And I basically took them and I gripped the very bottom of the pipe. I mean the very bottom right down here. And I grabbed it and I applied pressure slowly pressing them into place. Which I would highly advise doing that. And taking your time with it because you can easily break these. But basically like right here, I grabbed it like that and I slowly pressed down. Same thing with the ladder. Aligning the ladder with the hose and slowly adjusting things to get it to go. And you can see the end result that we came out with. And that's all that it told us to do from uh, stages um, 15 to 20. Well, you know, issues 15 to 20. That's all it told us to do so far. I am now awaiting on shipment 5, which is not until next month sometime. So, it'll be a little bit of a waste for that one. But I'm waiting for that now. But yeah, if you're going to build this thing, you really have to start thinking where you are going to store it. And all that I have completed so far, I'll show you all the parts that I've completed so far in my model. So let me just set this aside. The first part we have that I've completed for right now to this point. I just did not put the water pipe on because that water pipe is supposed to be on here by this point. But I do not trust leaving it there while I store it. I will break it off. But the skylight dome. We have that so far. We have the most work on the officer's quarters. And I know this next coming shipment, we're going to be putting in some little window frames in both the officer's quarters and the skylight. So, they fit together like that. And if you wanted to, you could mock it up just for a little fit test. You could take your funnel... And already set it on there and see how it looks. But it would look like that. I just ain't going to press it all the way down yet. But it would look like that. But yeah, we've completed the uh, officer's quarters that far. The grand staircase dome that far. Our second funnel is completed. And then inside this box over here. 
we have our first engine completed this far. And we also have our forward well deck completed that far. So we're starting to store up a lot of pieces here to this ship. <clears throat> and then we have the forecastle completed this far. With all my little uh, upgraded details. I got these uh, upgraded bollards, capstans, steam valves, upgraded skylight, and upgraded loading hatch. I got all of that from uh, model mods. But we have the forecastle upgraded to about that far. And then our last thing that we have, we have our big old hull of the ship built that far and our next shipment that we're getting will be building up this other side so it'll have both sides on it it'll have its first working anchor in the next shipment that we'll be getting we're getting a lot in our next shipment and I can't wait and we will finally be attaching the uh, the well deck and the forecastle together in the next shipment and let me thank you. What else will we be doing? Uh, we'll be getting our engine room floor with one of the uh, pumps or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is, what it's called. I can, uh, thrust block, I think. Our, thrust, our first thrust block with the engine room floor we'll be getting in our next shipment. But that's not until next month. But that's going to do it for this review video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope y'all are doing safe during these troublesome times, and you all have a blessed one, and I will see you guys in my next video, and goodbye.